Hello and welcome to Arts and Crafts Kingdom. Today we're going to make a secret book piggy bank. Here you can collect all your coins to get your next book. Make sure to watch all the way to the end to see if I show the artwork that you have sent in on today's episode. First of all, get a piece of cardboard that is 30 centimetres long. And then 13 centimetres long, I want you to draw a line all the way down. And I want you to draw a second line four centimetres apart from that one. Your cardboard is also going to be 20 centimetres down. And then I want you to fold it along the two lines, like so. And then we're going to find a piece of decorative paper to put on the outside. And we're going to fold that around our piece of cardboard. Make sure your decorative piece of paper is bigger than your piece of cardboard so that you can fold it nice and easily around the edges. And then we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to glue down all the sides like so. Then we're going to take a nice piece of paper, I'm going to glue it in the middle to cover up the cardboard. We've chosen pink but you can choose any colour you like. And then we're going to make the sides of our book fund. So, we're going to take a piece that is 12 and a half centimetres long and 4 centimetres wide. And then we're going to ask our parents for permission and guidance and we're going to use a knife to cut out a little slot to put our money through. Make sure the slot is big enough to fit those 50 peas through. And then we're going to cover our side with pink. We're going to have another piece of cardboard, exactly the same size as the original, to stick on the back to make it extra thick and strong. And then we'll make another one, the same size, for the bottom but without a slot in it. And then another one for the side. The one for the side is going to be 17 and a half centimetres long. I'm going to cover that one in pink too and four centimeters wide now we're going to attach those so we're going to take our glue and we're going to stick it to the base we've got a hot glue gun for this so don't forget to ask your parents permission and guidance when using your hot glue gun but you can use PVA glue if you'd like. Put it into place, making sure the book folds around it. Cover up that piece of cardboard with a bit of pink there. And then we're going to stick on the side and stick on the bottom lovely and then we're going to decorate the outside so we've cut out some letters here. You can use sticker letters or you can cut out your own own letters or you can even handwrite it on if you want to. 
We've chosen to call it our book fund. But you can create a fund for anything you like. And then we've got some nice pink ribbon. I'm going to tie that on the outside so we can keep it nice and safe. And look at that, you've made your very own book fund. And you can just pop your coins in the top, like so. And if you ever want to take your coins out to buy your next book, all you have to do is just pull open your ribbon and then you have access to all your coins. Just like so. And there you have it, your very own secret book piggy bank. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Now it's time for Let's Show Your Art. This part of the episode is where we show photos of all your amazing arts and crafts that you have sent in. Today's artwork was sent in by Luna, and Luna has drawn a beautiful woman sat down with long braided hair in a nice pink dress. This is very artistic. Well done, Luna. If you would like to send in photos of your arts and crafts for us to show in one of our videos, then please send it to this email address. And that's all we have time for today. Make sure to like this video by pressing the thumbs up button and press the subscribe button below to be the first to watch our new videos every week. Also, don't forget to tell your friends in school about Arts and Crafts Kingdom. See you soon!